All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Princes of Azamar, episode 18, Fragments of the Past. Uh, right now, our party is split uh, in three perfectly evenly spaced 2-2-2 two, two, two groups. So, uh, this week we're doing a, a Princes of Azamar extravaganza three-parter. We will be streaming tonight, we will be streaming tomorrow night, and we will be streaming Friday night. Uh, three full episodes of Princes, each with a pair of the party in them. Um, so join us all week. Uh, let's start with some intros. In the top right, because there's only a top right. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess top left is usually where I start. I can't words. Oh, Up in the top, we've got oh. Alex playing Eridan Eldris. Uh, one half of the twin blacksmith fighters. He's an Eldris brother. You've probably heard of him. More importantly, right now, one half of the Pally duo. Exactly, yes. one half of the Pally duo. <laughs> the other half being the Paladin, formerly of the Morning Lord, formerly of Mother Night, now of Ill Mater with an evil twin, Irina. Wow. Or rather, an evil clone. I keep saying twin when really I mean clone. Eh, I like I am an evil twin. I already made that joke, but I'm doing it again. <laughs> that was a funny joke. All right. Last time on Princess of Azamar, you all had returned to the city of Al-Zali, to retrieve the talisman of Achman Ra, this MacGuff, I mean, important object that Zavrin had asked you to retrieve uh, so that he could save the city of Azai with it. Um, you ran into some issues, um, the first being that when Irina t t dimension doored over and tried to grab the amulet, she vanished. And then later, when Achman Ra tried to dra drop the amulet, into the, the basin with the water and the fountain that turns treasure into more city. Aridin dove out and tried to catch it and also disappeared. The two of you found yourselves in the lost city of Mezro. Um, you had previously been to the ruins of Mezro, deep in the jungles of Isari, um, where you had seen uh, up in the temple of Uptau in the center um, this mural of the city at its full height, and you could see actually the mural's magical and moving, and there were people in it and everything, and you now realize that that mural was sort of a window into the true city of Mezzo, which is trapped on a demiplane, or rather, not trapped, but, you know, separated on its own demiplane, um, floating, somehow attached still to Azamar by this amulet, and you two have been whisked away there, where you were welcomed by the king, um, by... All the people there, it seems to be this very lovely utopia. They welcomed you in, they gave you these colorful robes of their people, um, and they've invited you. So far, uh, there has been no currency, it's all this food has been free, all these services have been free, they gave you apartments to stay in. It really does seem like a really fantastically nice place. All included vacation. <laughs> Precisely. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, you all decided that you wanted to go get some massages. So uh, you all head over to the Leon Hands Massage Parlor. Get it? Because they're paladins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> it was their joke, not mine. Um, <laughs> uh, and they 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 seat you, and uh, they you know they they invite you in, and they, they you each get your own masseuse. They give you the choice of male or female. Are we supposed to choose? Whoever's the best. That's the thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoever's the best. <laughs> All right, sounds good. You get the best masseuses. Um, they are uh, tabaxi, so you're actually not Ooh. even sure if you could tell if they were male or female. And they come over and they start giving you massages, and it's really lovely. You're on this like patio, looking out over a part of the city, and it really is truly beautiful. Off of the edge of the city, it's just sort of, it's like a night sky, of the inter astronauts the space between the planes. Um. You know, Arena, this is uh, a lot better than my last vacation I had with someone else in the party. And what was your it's last vacation? It's very hot. A lot, of, a lot of red, a lot of blood, like, a lot of slavery, chains, metal. Not metal. Oh, not tropical. Okay. You know? <laughs> no. I, 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 don't think you, I don't think I ever heard about this vacation. It wasn't fun. Well, I'm sorry. Was it Actually, with Koros? It's got to be with Koros. There kind was of torturous. Blood. Yeah. Yeah. Quaros. It was hell. Quaros took me to hell. <laughs> oh no. This is just a, I understand, but where was it? 
Dude, what about mine? <laughs> uh, well, what were you guys doing there? Well, he said he needed help freeing his friend. And I helped him with that. Oh, so you freed his friend. I'm gonna say. You met this friend. Yeah, his name was Donovar. He was, uh, yeah, he was back in Andgate. the place. Oh. At the Mountain of Fire. Yeah. Right. Yeah, got right. him out, and that is all that matters. Okay. He actually showed well, up the day after uh, Other Arena left. The Mountain of Fire. Maybe he was Other Arena. Perfect disguise. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it makes you feel better, I took a little vacation with Pharaoh where we got, you know, um, kidnapped by Uanti at one point. And had to escape. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're both doing pretty good. All right. The massages go on for a while. You feel nice and well relaxed. And after a little while, they they walk away to leave you there to relax for a little while. So just laying there, looking out over this beautiful view. Um, I'll take perception checks from both of you. Okay. Ooh. Fun. I feel like I'm not going to be very perceptive right now. I forgot to pull a plus 20. <laughs> so I'm just going to roll. And that's a, like 12 plus probably nothing. It's your whiz, right? Yeah. You're not proficient? Then yeah. Yeah, 12. 15, 12. All right. Uh, Aridin, you hear something slithering up the side of your massage table and you feel it just brush up against your leg when you notice it. Uh, I spring into attack formation. Fists out. You jump up. As you do, you startle it and it tries to bite at you. Uh, oh, my roll 20 went away. That's weird. Well. There we go. Sorry, reloading. Um, I'm going to roll... Attack against you. What is your armor class using just your dexterity? Because you are not wearing your armor. Um. Well, my dex is three. All right. So, thirteen. So well, it, don't you get like a? Isn't there? A th okay. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Thirteen. All right. It bites at you, and you just pull your leg out in time. Oh wait, no. I have plus one AC, but yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you pull your leg away just in time, and the snake isn't able to bite you. So, would I? Is there a snake in here? There's a snake? What? Arena, there's a freaking snake right here. Is there only the one snake? There's only the one snake. This is the first dangerous wildlife you've seen in Mesro. Is Can it I... like a big snake or a little snake? Yeah, I'll study the it's snake. It's a big snake. <laughs> but it has fangs? It's like a... like A, a big <laughs> venomous snake, yeah. Not like a constricty or just a big Not fatty. Not like a thick snake, but like a big snake. Like a cobra. Mm. Jesus. Do you, you think this is someone's pet or should I kill it? Um... I mean... It starts think... hissing at you. <laughs> and it's like standing up. Hey, wait, can you talk to animals? Don't you have a thing? Oh. Oh. Can I? No, I can do animal messenger. Oh. I don't think I have Can that. you have him message himself? <laughs> yeah. Hey, can you stop? While please? you're talking, it tries to snap at you again. Yeah. Die! Um, okay. This time... 14. Um, 21. Ooh. It hits you. Give me a constitution saving throw. Oh! Worst spot ever. One out of five on Yelp. <laughs> I'm good at con saves. You feel it in there, but you, you grab and you squeeze where it bit you on the leg, and you can see the little bit of venom come right out, and you, like, brush it off onto the ground as you back away from this snake again. Okay, I'm going to call and be like, hey, uh, there's there's a snake out here. Um, um, is the, it one of yours? The tabaxi, like, say, what? And they rush in, and they're like, oh my god! Like, they, they're startled uh jake is saying it badly because it sounds like i'm faking it but no they're they're legitimately startled what no um, and one of them here? bears its claws and grabs and just like like cuts the snake in two oh wow. full service okay. good job so not, not a pet not a pet <laughs> and they say where did it come from i don't know it just slithered up and started touching me and then bit me i we're so sorry. Like they, they start apologizing because this happened in their establishment, and they're they're super confused. Like we haven't seen snakes in in a very long time. Like this is this is weird. 
Yeah, it's it's okay. I don't think I've ever been bit by a snake. Is it is it gonna? Am I gonna die? No, what we kind of snake? Had. Is we were bit by a ton of snakes when we were going up that temple in um, the jungle. Those were mosquitoes. No, there were snakes <laughs> all over the stairs, right? Oh, mm -hmm. what's they that? bite us in Orlunga. Yeah, in Orlunga. I don't remember that. Okay, well, no. are these poisonous snakes? Venomous. Sorry. <laughs> yes, these snakes are poisonous. Don't eat them. Um, are they venomous? Yes. Am I gonna die? Um, they say I don't know, but you should probably see a doctor. <laughs> Could you recommend one? Um, they they point you to. Does this look normal to you? Look, it's like kind of red. Look at him and they like say, poke it. Well, it's not turning green, so that's a good sign. Is that a like a, a possible? Is that common? Is that likely? That's usually what happens when someone gets bit. Yeah, I'm going to a doctor. Yeah, well, let's go find a cleric. Um, I can't make fun of Theo anymore for losing a freaking finger if I lose a damn leg. <laughs> You're not going to lose a leg. It'll be okay. You did very well on your con save, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, they I actually going to temple, though. bring you over just a few blocks away to a, a temple and a cleric. Um, and the cleric, you know, ushers you in, sits you down, like, on a pew... Um, and examines your leg. He takes a look at it and he says, uh, I'm not sure if there's any poison, but I'll do a remove poison just in case. Appreciate it. He does a spell. Uh, and he says, uh, This is quite rare here that to see a snake, especially loose in the city. Uh, did you go somewhere, to maybe to the zoo? And No, we were over at Lay on Hands. You guys have a zoo? Yes. Uh, oh, the zoo is fantastic. <gasps> you should you should really go. We should go, Arena. I'm in. Hopefully, their snakes are secure. Yeah. No Harry Potter stuff happening. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. And uh, so the uh, you get a clean bill of health after some time. Um, he he does a bit more healing just to be sure, and then sends you on your way. Okay. The 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 tabaxi from the place are apologizing profusely. Um, well, I can't exactly demand a refund because we didn't pay them, so I guess we'll just it, it, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah. All as well. So where you should would you be like careful though. Next? Uh, you want to go to the zoo? That sounds yeah. fun. Yeah. Let's let's go to the zoo. Are we? What are we doing here? Are we gonna go back eventually? I don't know. I figured we'd give them a little bit of time to see if they want to come here and yep. check it out. Okay. Um, also remind y'all. We did try to go to the library and learn things, but we, we did. Yes. That didn't exactly you learned a couple work. things. Yeah. Yeah. We learned that Vezarin doesn't show up anywhere in history. I'll remind y'all that you have none of your your weapons or anything. Just in right. Mezroin robes. Very fashionable robes. And now I have a limp. <laughs> Very fashionable limp. <laughs> so yeah, you can. You can head over to the zoo. Um, yeah. They've got all sorts of fantastical animals, many of which you've actually seen before. Um, they took many of them from the the jungles of Isari. Oh. Um, you see Almirage. You see... Uh, I'm trying to remember other other creatures. I, I can grab the book. Do I see any Barovian owl bears? Uh, not Barovian specifically, but they do have some owl bears. Mm, cool. Um. You see a Zorbo. Uh, you see Girillons, which are these big, like, four-armed uh, white gorilla things. Oh, weird. Uh, what else have they got? Um, various kinds of... And they're behind glass because they're not safe. Um, like, living plant things that have all these, like, spores and stuff floating around them. Well, I think we, we, we saw some of those. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I breathed some of those. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Don't uh, do that. Mm, didn't seem like fun. It was kind of fun. <laughs> uh, all kinds of monkeys and things. What else? Cool. Other cool things. Ooh, here we go. They have, There's a Comedon and a Jakuli. Uh, so a Comedon is the... It's like leopard with snakes Ooh. on it. A Jakuli is this like cool snake, tree snake thing. Cool. Oh, they do that. have snakes here. Should we try to talk to these ones? 
<laughs> I'm just gonna go up to the glass. Yes, yes. <laughs> be like, hi. Um, I hope you're doing well. I think that's a yes. It did sound more. It, it sounded closer to the word yes than the word no. Yeah, probably because of the s. Yes. yes. Well, this is cool. Yeah. I'll, like I'll, I'll try and do some like some crappy sketches of the the weird leopard one to show Theo yeah. and be like, look at the thing that was in the ambulance. Look, like, oh. There's a whole exhibit full of flying monkeys. Oh my god, <laughs> the wicked witch is near. They're pretty adorable. They're pretty cute. Um, there's a flail snail. What? Oh, I know about flail snails. Those things are dope. Um, it's like a, it's got a spiky sh shell and then like a a tail that it can thwack at things and. They're pretty cool. They're weird. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, please. have a nice day at the zoo. Get some ice cream, <laughs> peanuts. I think a flail snail is one of those cubes. You so. know, Marina. I feel like we as a as a party need to take more time out for vacations. This is yeah. Nice. You know, I mean, I understand the whole need for stopping evil plots and. I think this is the people. longest I've gone in the past couple months without having blood on me. Yeah, you know, except you have a leg. good point. Oh, damn it! Except for my leg. <laughs> Other people's blood on me. <laughs> hmm. You know, that's a good point. I think we should bring it up with the party. Yeah. As long as we don't let Chorus choose the vacation spots. I wish they would touch the ambulance and show up here already. They can They can have a break, too. Yeah, what should we... There's no, know. like, imminent peril that they need to deal with, right? We just all take a day. It'd be great. Um, and yeah. as you were mentioning the amulet... Um, the whole city, there's a, there's a slight rumble, not quite earthquake level, but just like a little rumble. I mean, the people around you don't seem to be perturbed, they just sort of all look up, and you see that beam of light, um, coming from Azamar in the distance, um, and floating up towards the top of the tower, um, and you see, uh, someone drifting along it. And as you look at them, you sort of like the, even though they're far away, you can, you can sort of make out where they are. It looks like one of the guards from Al-Zali. Oh, should we go over there? Yeah, probably. Them? That's probably not great, though. That means our group doesn't have the amulet. Yeah, Unless they strategically touched it to the guy's face. Well, let's hope it's that. Let's go check it out. I think strategically touching it to his to face the... is probably a smart plan, though. To the landing zone. So you're going to yeah. head back to the tower. Yeah, we'll find out about this. Um, excuse me. Uh, we're gonna rewind a minute. I forgot the first thing that you have to see. Um, no, sorry, that was earlier. Never mind. We're correct. <laughs> Ignore me. I got mis confused by my notes. Um, what I will say is that once before when you were inside, um, the city did a similar rumble. Oh. Previously, but you couldn't see the beam of light from where you were. There might be multiple arrivals. Let's go check yeah. it out. Yeah, let's go look. Go to the... the <clears throat> Brown room. <laughs> um, so you head back towards the Temple of Uptau. Mm -hmm. um, as you get to the doors, um, you can come in the first floor level, uh, no problem. The doors are wide open. Um, there's all sorts of people like praying to Uptau around, studying mazes in the walls, things like that. Um, but as you head up to where the, the stairs and the portals are that lead up, um, you're asked what business you have here. We noticed that there were new rivals to Mesro similar to us. We were hoping we could find out what was happening. Yes, everyone is excited about new arrivals, but nothing to worry about. The Berai are taking care of it. You will have your opportunity to meet them once they are done entering into to Mesro. Oh, we believe they may be our friends. Um, is there somewhere they will come out that we can wait for them? Uh, we wish to avoid overwhelming new visitors right away, but uh, after some time, once they've been bathed and cleaned and had their tour of the city, they, they will be at their apartments. They should be near yours. Okay. That's where the new block is. Have we, right. sorry, have we heard of the Bear Eye before? You have heard of the Bear Eye before. Um, you know that the, the Mesro has these, um, this like council of like super paladins that are like the, the like protectors of Mesro and they're called the, an individual is called the Bara, and the plural is Berai. 
So I'll be a super paladin. That's our goal here, right? Yeah, that's great. We should learn. We have to become super what paladin. Makes them super. <laughs> They're basically yeah. just like really good people who protect the city and have superpowers and stuff. Okay, life goal. <laughs> be a really good person. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the apartments, I guess. I guess so. Yeah. That's the place to wait for him. Um, so uh, you all head back towards your apartments. Um, and as you're uh, going up there, you head up uh, towards your your doors. You see that up on the same level, um, right next to yours, um, you see two um, of the attendants who helped... Uh, bathe and wash and clothe you guys when you first arrived. Um, and one of the tour guides um, that you had met before, not your tour guide, but a different one, um, walking up to one of the apartments next to yours um, and knocking on the door. Um, and after a moment, the, the, the door opens and a very familiar face steps out. You see it's Pharaoh and he's holding a big old loaf of of Mesro in bread. What's up? Hey, Pharaoh. You get here. Um, the the attendants and the the tour guide turn because they weren't expecting you. And he goes, "Oh, hey, hey." The the second hey is when he makes eye contact with Irina. Um, and there's some click of recognition again in a moment. And he goes, "Uh, sorry." Um, and he turns to the attendants and the tour guide. Uh, uh, what's up? Uh, what do you what do you need? Uh, and they say, "Oh, uh, uh, pardon, we didn't mean to to interrupt if you were meeting." And he says, "Oh, uh, you you guys were here first. And they say, "Uh, we want to take you to meet uh, Raz Kualu, uh, one of the one of the Berai. Uh, we we think we think he would love to meet you." I mean, is there going to be more bread there? Uh, you can have all the bread you like along the way. Goes, Great, sure, this place is awesome. Is it possible that we could uh, tag along? We would love to, to catch up with our friends and perchance meet the some of the bear eye. Um, you see them sort of like look at each other with a bit of concern um, and sort of like they, they sort of make eye contact turn and then turn back to you and say, of course, yes, uh, you can also meet the... The Bara. Rasqualu. Lead the way. I don't know where he is. They lead the way. Um, Pharaoh takes a minute to, like, gather up some bread. So he's got, like, three loaves. Cause he, he's worried that it'll go away. He's had a very <laughs> short and rough life here in the Nine Deserts. And uh, he's he's not ready to let go of his the little bit that he has. Um, and so he follows, um, if you guys want to talk along the way, the, the other folks are just sort of leading silently. Hey, Pharaoh. Yeah? Uh, last time I saw the amulet, it was nowhere near you. How did, how did you touch it? Oh, yeah. So, uh, you disappeared. You guys were in the city. Uh, okay. So... You jumped to say so. Did you fill her in on the part she missed? Uh, I, I I told her that I valiantly saved her while catching the amulet. And that's how I got here, valiantly. Yeah. Okay. So then, uh, the other one that looks like you with the beard. Yeah, with the beard. <laughs> yeah, not um, the short one with the beard. He distracted uh, the big bird guy. Bird guy. No. Oh. The, the bird-headed guy. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, uh, Apple Ramen. <laughs> uh, Ra? Yeah, that one. Yep. Apple Ramen. And uh, then I grabbed the chain of the amulet um, from the pool because I was right there. I I dove after it too, but you dove a little better than I did. I did. Uh. And then he basically let us go, I guess? I didn't really get it. Uh, and then um, the, the two with the beards 
uh, short one and the, the yeah one took like the him. unconscious ones on their shoulders, and we walked out. Uh, and then they tried to teleport away and left me. They left you. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't sure what the deal was with that, but um, they just teleported without you but then there was this nice family that had some bread and they traded me the bread and a fish uh for the amulet and so i did that and then i saw that you guys had gone on the amulet and no one seemed really concerned that you had left so i figured i probably wasn't gonna die so i touched the amulet too and now i'm here so you just left the amulet with strangers i mean i didn't think it was that important because you know the the guys with the beards left without it the tall one and the short one yeah, I don't think that was intentional. No, really? probably not. I mean, they they were in control of that whole teleport spot. I mean, he was the one doing the... Ooga dooga dooga dooga. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. I mean, we went through... It makes no sense. ...an amount to save you. Not to mention the amulet's very important. I don't think they would just leave you. I, I mean, think something must have happened. I don't Perhaps know. Perhaps we should maybe ask this... Um, uh, Blind eye, whatever eye, whatever people, pally, super people that we're about to meet. If there's a way back, because if the amulet is in the hands of strangers. But so, we do know that there's the way back. Yeah, you guys yeah. do know that you can go back. The king told you that. Oh, right. Um, but mm -hmm. he basically said, if you go back, you cannot come here again by way of the amulet. It's right. basically Narnia. <laughs> um, I was like, but why would you leave? This place is great. The rest well, of the world is awful, dry, waterless desert. There are a lot of people depending on us there. And the whole world isn't like that. Just that crappy area where you happen to be. We have things to do there. Okay, I guess. Like, it's way shittier than this place. I agree. <laughs> um, after a little while, uh, you all have arrived at... Um, this uh, warrior training ground. You guys actually um, were here in the ruins. You saw this place. Uh, this is where you had seen some of the the warriors of the go the soldiers of the Golden Empire for the first time. Um, just a few blocks from where you blew up a quarter of the ruins mm -hmm. of Mesro. Remember um, that. <laughs> but uh, there's this sort of covered thing with these pillars around it, um, and this like this sort of inlaid pit with like sort of stands around it. And the stands aren't full of people. There's not like an event going on. There's just a few people around there. And you see that there are warriors training um, and they're being led. Um, the warriors are a mix of uh, Isari folk, Tabaxi, uh, other uh, assorted races. Um, and you see that there's clearly uh, one Tabaxi who stands. He's tougher and taller than the rest. He's got on this uh, really fantastic armor. It's not full body armor. It's like you know, like a shoulder thing, and then it goes across like a pauldron. Um, Special character design. You can tell they're exactly. important. Um, <laughs> um, and he's the one like teaching people. He's he was, uh, he's getting them to do this, and he's like, no, 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 like from above, from above, you know. And they're like, he's again, you know, he's having them uh, train. Um, and uh, the attendants and the tour guide come over to him, and they they bow and they start their introductions. Oh. Rosqualo, we wanted you to meet this this new visitor. We thought you'd be really interested in meeting him. And he says, ah, is he a, a great warrior? And they say, they look at each other and they say, yes, yes, you should come meet him. Shake his hand. And he goes, oh, uh, and he turns uh, and he says, uh, well, welcome to Mesro all. Uh, is one of you who they have brought me to meet? And they, they say, yes, yes, this one. Um, and Pharaoh, he goes to Pharaoh and he holds out a hand and Pharaoh's got all his bread and he goes, oh, uh, <laughs> Some great warrior. Yeah, um, I know. <laughs> and he shakes his hand, and uh, I will take perception checks from both of you. Mm. Woo! I have such good eyeballs. Good eyeballs? What's that? Uh, you have no eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, Irina, you notice nothing. Also, set your drop down. Um, oh, yeah. Aridin, you notice just this, this, this ever so subtle shift. In the demeanor uh, of Kualu, um, just at the moment he shakes Pharaoh's hand, uh, and then there's this ever so subtle shift. He says, "Yes, excellent to meet you. I, I have, I have heard some about you, uh, and I'm glad that you have come, come to Mesro now. Uh, uh, thank you for this. I, I do have some business to attend to. Maybe we can catch up more later." Um, 
Though, before, and he, he calls over a, a specific squad of warriors um, by name, and he says, I'd like each of you to meet, uh, to meet this new person to come to Mesro. And they, he, he, he has each of the warriors in turn shake hands with Pharaoh. And Pharaoh's like, okay. And he's like sort of shuffling his bread and just like, all right. And just shaking the hands of each of these warriors. And Aridin, you notice that same subtle shift in each of them. Irina, you don't notice that. You just know that this is kind of weird. Wow, Aridin, who knew that Pharaoh was so amazing of a fighter? I mean, I, I only ever saw him kind of go like this every now and then and eat bread. But, uh, who knew? I can't clench Eastwood any harder right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, Roz Kualu then, uh, he, he turns to each of you and he says, It was excellent to meet all of you, uh, but I've got important business to attend to. We, we must be going. And he takes that same group of warriors um, and, they, and they shuffle off. Um, back towards sort of the armory building, um, right at the base of here. Um, and then a few moments later, you see them uh, leaving and heading uh, deeper into the city. Didn't shake our hands. I mean, whatever. You didn't even introduce us. I know. You also hey, notice we're here first. <laughs> the attendants and the tour guide are gone. During the, the, the handshaking, they just sort of vanished, and they just sort of left the two of you and Pharaoh here. Hey, Pharaoh, did you learn to fight real well at some point? I mean, no. Hmm. Weird. Sorry, Pharaoh? Oh, right, that's 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 what you called me before. Right. Right. Do you have a different name now? Yeah. No, I'm, they didn't give me a name. He just called me his fortune teller. King Haroon, that is. And you don't remember? And, he, uh, and then he makes eye contact with Irene again, loses train of thought. Maybe there are some people here who can help you with your memory loss. Okay. Yeah, Would you be I interested don't... in recovering? I mean... Your identity? I guess. Like, before I would have told you yes, but like now... I don't know, I don't feel like I really need it. This place is pretty well, great. Well, here's the thing. If you get your memories back, you might get back a specific memory over what kind of bread is the best. Fair enough. You're saying, like, old me had really, like, gone... Oh, he had a catalog. Oof. He did. It's a whole system. That does sound like some important secret knowledge that, that I could have. Why don't we go to a cleric? We'll go back to the one we met earlier. Yeah, all right. Sure. As we wander, and if we get to the temple, mm -hmm. um, if there's a point where I could pull aside Pharaoh yeah. for a second. Um, Pharaoh, do you, do you remember me? Yes, I don't think, no, I don't really remember any of you. And then he, uh, each time he, he, he'll be talking and he'll turn and he'll make eye contact with you and just like lose his train of thought for a second. Okay. Odd. Let's go to the cleric. And he says, uh, whatever you say, my queen. And, like it's, it's a totally different mm -hmm. tone of voice for a moment. Um, and then he's back to eating bread and being who he was before. He doesn't even remember saying it. Okay. To the cleric, I guess. <clears throat> um, and so uh, you head to the temple and you come in and the, the cleric is there and he says, Oh no, has your leg worsened? Oh no, it's I, I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm actually here because oh. uh, you did such a bang up job. I thought maybe you could help my friend out. Was he also bitten? Uh, his memory was mm. eaten. So, kind of bite-related. Not at all. No. <laughs> These things can be difficult to ascertain. Uh, let me see what I can do. Um, right when, before he does that, though, the whole city rumbles again. You all sort of look up and out the window. Um, and you see, it looks like, uh... Certainly a denizen of the Nine Deserts, but maybe uh, a merchant or a shopkeeper? Should we... Uh, floating in there. And he says... Well, looks huh. like the ambulance getting passed around. And he says, uh, more visitors than we've seen in quite some time. It's good. Mesro can only grow from the, the diversity of its people. New, new sights, new insights, new knowledge. Yes, should uh, one of us maybe go 
talk to that merchant, Meriden? I assume they're going to do the same thing they did with the other new arrival and have okay. them do the welcome wagon first, so we might have some time. That I mean, sounds we can good. always run into the back of the apartment. There's a second rumble. God! You look out, and you see sort of floating and not knowing what to do with its legs, a horse. Uh, <laughs> sort of floating and drifting, sort of spinning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to start raining cats and dogs. <laughs> uh, floating in up towards the temple. Uh, and the uh, the priest says, uh, I've not seen that before. <laughs> Do you ever get animals? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> not typically. Oh. Do you think maybe it's squirrels? Changed from a goat to a horse? <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm saying probably no. I think it's just a horse. <sighs> we left. I hate to say it, Theo, with a magic item. Oh, you're right. It went poorly again. You're right. <laughs> Why? <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's get on with this so we can go talk to that merchant and the horse, maybe. Uh. What's the prognosis, Doc? The doctor, the priest, starts doing some magic, some detection. Uh, and he says, uh, I'm, I'm not certain, but perhaps a greater restoration could restore his memory. Uh, hard to say for sure. Um, I also lack one of the material components, a, a diamond dust worth... At least a hundred gold. Okay. Not well, that we maybe... use currency here, but some things are still harder to come by. Maybe we will try to find them and return to you. Do you have any idea where something like that could be attained here? Mm, perhaps at the uh, Wizards College they might have a collection, uh, though I'm not sure they'd part with it so easily. Uh, they would probably need try. to be convinced of the, the worth of your cause. Very well. I see. Well, don't worry, Pharaoh. We'll just tell them it's for the cause of locating bread. <laughs> yeah, and I can't do that. Um, as you all are starting to leave, um, there's a, a, a shift. Um, it's not like the same rumble as before. Um, the whole city seems to, like, teeter in one direction for a moment. Um... And then as you look up at the stars and the sky, you realize the whole city is moving. I'm going to look around. Is this, are people freaking out? Or are they People normal? seem confused and a bit startled by this. This is not something that they have seen before. Hmm. Okay. Is there, um, any, is there any one coming down? Uh, you don't see any, any one or thing. Uh, no. I have a feeling it's not going to be too great to stick around here very long. The whole city Probably. seems to be moving as you look out at the horizon and you can see the, you know, the, the, the pearlescent orb of Azamar in the distance. It is shrinking slightly. It seems to be moving further from Azamar. Not straight away, maybe sort of at an angle to somewhere else. Maybe we should consider leaving soon. Just side note, sorry. What's the name of the city with the emperor that we came from? I forget the name. Azai. Azai, thank you. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, who should we talk to? Um, should we go back to the people that welcomed us and be like, Tay, take us back? I think so. Um, Pharaoh. Here you go ahead. Um, uh, you see that a few of the people are, are, are getting scared, confused, and then uh, some guards come out and say, you know, like, not to worry, everyone, just wait inside your homes. This shall be over in a moment. We, we will. There's nothing, nothing to worry about. I'll take insight checks. Here we are safe. Here we are free. There is no war in Mesra. The guards have no idea what's going on. They're just trying to maintain calm. Makes sense. All right. Why don't we try to get to the palace or the tower? I mean, 
Um, uh, you all can make your way to the palace. Um, there are a few like groups of guards sort of shuffling people to their homes, but there's enough motion and, and not quite chaos, but you know movement and confusion um, that you can slip past them easily and make it to the temple. Um, when you get to the temple, the doors are still ajar, but the guards that typically you would see standing and guarding those doors are not there. Um, Should we go in? Yeah. Let's do it. You enter the, the main temple area, um, and it's empty. Um, people have either left or just are not in this, this part of the temple. Is this the room that we spoke to the king in? No, upstairs is where you spoke to the king. Should we go there? Yeah. Okay. I think I, I feel like someone might have an inkling of what's happening here. Yeah, just so anyone? In the hallway back here, there are basically these portals where you speak where you want to go and then you step through. Uh, you saw people doing this before. Is there like a directory? <laughs> uh, there is not. Conference room. <laughs> uh, Go for it. You step through, um, and you find yourselves in a in a large uh, meeting room, um, but it is currently empty. It looks like it's part dining hall, part meeting room, depending on uh, what it's needed for. Gonna turn back around and go uh, throne room and step through. You step through. Uh, you step into the throne room, and as you step through, whom spears are leveled down at you very very quickly. Um, but after a moment, the king says, says, hold! And then they, they lift, and they say, uh, uh, these are the, the visitors from before. Um, we apologize that, that you have arrived at such turbulent times. Something has gone wrong. You have no need to worry. You can return to your apartments. All will be fine. The earthquakes seem to be getting worse, so forgive us. We're not inclined to agree with that. He says, uh, Fair enough. If you are concerned uh, and wish to return as before, I can help you with that, but... Uh, well, what is happening in your city? Is there any way we can help? And he says, since you were powerful beings in your own right, I will share this with you in the hopes that maybe you can help. Uh, something has gone wrong. One of the Barai has come and attacked the temple and, and taken con taken control of the control room for the city. Uh, he appears to be steering us uh, somewhere towards the Shadow Fell, but to what destination we do not know. Which Barai? Uh, the guy whose name I said before in his notes. Rosqual something? Quali, yeah, I think. Qualu. When did this begin? When did he go to the control room? I Only just after the horse arrived. Well, uh, if... You see the horse. <laughs> He's like in the corner of the throne room, just here. They haven't had a chance to take it anywhere. <laughs> There's someone like, which color saddle do you want? <laughs> There's absolutely some attendants trying to like offer different colors of saddle to the horse, and the horse is just confused and scared. While they're talking, I'm going to turn to Pharaoh and kind of whisper in his ear and say, do you have any conscious ability of doing such a thing? And he'll, he'll whisper back to you, doing what such a thing? <laughs> Never mind. Alright. Where's, where's the control room? Do you want us to try to deal with him? Um, I... He says, uh, if you think yourselves able, we've sent several groups of guards. However, Qualu and his, his squad are some of the most skilled warriors in all of Mesro. We haven't been able to take the room back from them. Oh, well, luckily we have the greatest warrior here, Pharaoh. Am I right? <laughs> of what? course. And he, he drops his bread. <laughs> I'm sure we can handle it. Um, and uh, a few warriors come over and offer you weapons. Um, your choice of weapons. Take a sword and shield. Yeah, so we don't have our normal weapons. No, you don't have your typical magic okay. weapons because you left them in your room. Do they have armor? Uh, they can also give you armor. You can have your typical armor. 
Okay. Yeah. Um, very well. You take some time to play it up. Um, you, you all are putting your armor on and getting your weapons ready. Um, Pharaoh has been standing there trying to offer him weapons. He's like, I, um, uh, 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 and, um, one of the warriors is like, look, it's it's not a hard choice, my friend. And he places his hand on Pharaoh's shoulder. Mm -hmm. um, Aridin, you see yeah. that subtle change in his eye. And he says, uh, but you do not need to make this choice now. And he, he, he takes the weapon, sets the weapons aside, and he says, uh, maybe you should consult with the king. He is a great wise man, and, and you as a great warrior and man of wisdom, could, could share your insight with him. Maybe come up with a plan, he's saying this to Pharaoh. I and mean, starts sort of leading Pharaoh over towards the king. And um, Pharaoh's like, okay, like, I, I didn't think I was that much of a strategic mastermind, but... Well, I'm going to catch up to them. And Marina, just... something weird is happening every time they touch Pharaoh. Oh, is that I'm what's concerned. going on? Yeah. Oh. Pharaoh doesn't seem to be reacting, but they are. Oh. Should we stop him from touching? Right as you're saying this, suddenly the light that's pouring in through the windows from outside Inner Astronox, which is very bright, <sighs> turns dark. And all of the color that you saw around you is sort of faded uh, the world almost looks black and white around you. Um, Someone killed the moon spirit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the king says, we are, it is drawing close. We have entered the plain of Shadowfell. Our destination can only be soon. We must stop them before whatever happens. Whatever they intend, it cannot be good. Is, is Pharaoh taking the lead on this? He's, he wanted to talk to him, didn't he? Um, yeah, the, the, this guy is still trying to lead Pharaoh over to the king. Um, and uh, the, the king, you know, looks down and says, yes. And Pharaoh's like, uh, he said that I should talk to, to you. And he says, son, I am here. Speak to me. <laughs> he says, well, I don't know. Like, I, did we try sending in, like, our second best warriors? Uh, he says, yes, uh, we, we sent them in and we have not, uh, heard back from them. Some returned, some did not. Uh, we tried sending in numbers. They have narrowed the entries by the portals. I was like, mm. have you tried, like, talking to them? And he's like, what is this? Like, <laughs> he's going to get confused. And the, and the soldier's like, it is, it, it is fine, uh, king, my king, uh, simply, uh, he wishes to share with you his knowledge. I did not realize he was such adult. Uh, you can shake hands and go. Uh, <laughs> uh, but let me, uh, 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 Pharaoh's hands are very dirty. Mm -hmm. Yes, you should. Um, let me help him clean them very quickly before he touches your kingliness. Grab his hands or bring him over. <laughs> yeah, I want to grab her. I want to touch him. I want to see if anything happens. Any wisdom saving throw. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, plus, uh, you get a plus something because you're ah! gonna you get a plus four. Oh. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that is terrible. Aridin. Uh. I'll re it. I don't think it's gonna go very well. <laughs> Rerolled into a natural 20. Well done. Um, you feel this, for a split moment, this darkness, this chill on the back of your neck, and it's gone. There was clearly something, but the light of the Morning Lord within you repelled it. Pharaoh, Ooh. we should go. We should really go. Your hands are very dirty. They're, they are but filthy. They just gave me a bath. All I've touched is bread. No, no, that bread was... Con Contaminated? Why? I was eating it! Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. King, I'm so sorry. Terribly sorry. You should have hand sanitizer at your front doors. Says, Will you not help us 
stop the rogue the rogue bara. Oh, of course we will. We will. Yeah. We're we're just uh we need to speak with our friend momentarily and uh, create a battle plan and then we will head straight there. Last thing you want is a disease outbreaking in a city that's is locked down like this. Please, and he looks behind him out the window. There is not much time. We've already entered the Shadowfell. All right, let's go. Very well. I'm gonna try and like nudge Pharaoh out without touching him, like to the hilt of my sword or something. <laughs> Uh, all right, you guys start heading out, um, and uh, as you leave, you, Aridin, you do notice that that, that one warrior uh, that Pharaoh had had touched, uh, glaring at you as you leave. Okay, I want to get us uh, somewhere isolated. Okay. We can we can start walking on the way that we need to go, but whenever there's nobody around. I mean, you you would go to the portal and say the where you want to go, in the in the te in the temple. Okay, are there people at the portal though? Before we go in. Um, there are, yeah, this, you're in the throne room. It's, there's, there's people all around. There actually is more people than usual in here. That conference room was empty, right? Yeah. I was going to say, I was like, conference, conference room. Conference room. Boom. You arrive in the empty conference room. All right. And Pharaoh's like, what the hell was that about? I'm going to use my thing. I'm going to use my, my true thing. Mm. So I know when he's lying. Who are you? Uh, you tell me I'm Pharaoh, I guess. True. True. I do tell him he's Pharaoh. What are you doing? What, 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 are, what is this magic that's controlling you? Uh, controlling me? Affecting you? Uh, uh, what? There's magic affecting me? Are you now or have you ever been under the control of a spell? I mean, <laughs> King Haroon had some spells that kept me trapped on that wheel. Do you, do you have any idea what you touching people might be doing? What? I'm, is me touching people doing something? Maybe. Yes. Do you know what it is? Uh, I didn't realize it was doing something, so no. I don't. What, what's it doing? I'm not sure, but it wasn't fun. Uh, like, like, just like when I regular, and he's like reaching out to... <laughs> Just like, okay, or I, sorry, no just all these people wanted to shake my hand earlier. I don't, I don't know. You are not allowed to touch anybody anymore. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, Arena, something is wrong with him. He's not. This isn't good. Uh, I have no idea what it could be. I don't know how like to this, this is responsible for what's happening in the control room right now. Look, I, I just want to, like, eat bread and be calm. This place seemed so nice before, like, I ran into you guys. Oh, sorry, Pharaoh. <laughs> well, I, I don't like the way you dodged that question earlier. Do you know who you are? <laughs> I'm a guy who showed up in the desert, and you guys say my name is Pharaoh. Yes or no? Do you know who you are? No. <laughs> Not really, no. Well, philosophically, do any of us. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, okay, how about this? Pharaoh, you're going to come with us. Don't touch anyone, but we should deal with the situation first. Okay. Are you guys... Alex, can you hear him? Uh, yeah. Did... Oh. I muted myself oh, by accident. Oh. <laughs> I, said, I can hear him in real life. I, 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 you, like the, the king was saying we're going to like a bad. Didn't the king say we were like going to like a bad place? I mean, everything's already black and white. Like, right. So we're trying to to get away from that. So we need control of the control room. I think, right? I think we need to keep an eye on you right now. So why don't you come with us? Uh, yeah. stay away from any actual fighting, but just. Be cool, okay? No more touching. Okay. Uh, are you sure about this going to the control room thing? Because, like, yeah, he said be their great. second best warriors, like, died. No, don't worry about it. Control no, room. we got this. How we am I this. not going to I'm not going in there. You'll stand at the back. I, I, Ten feet back. I don't want to get stabbed. You won't. Are, are you or, sure I won't get stabbed? Uh, maybe, should we leave I, I, I don't have a weapon. That guy closed them and made me go, like, talk to the king. And the oh, king you don't made have fun of me. Bells anymore? Do you? 
spells? I did do oh. one kind of by accident earlier. I could hey, try Jay, again. I think we need to Wait, feature... You did one by accident earlier? Yeah, uh, they, they told me to prince. try and... Uh, <laughs> you're not muted. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, okay. I was, I was talking to you. Oh, I didn't hear it. <laughs> I think we need to fe feature the true prince on princes. Uh -huh, you, you can come show <laughs> off your... <laughs> it, it's thematic. <laughs> prince on princes. <laughs> Opening Saturday. <laughs> Wait, so t you cast a spell earlier by accident? Yeah, they told me that I could do it, and I tried, and, like, everything turned all sparkly and glowy. Who told you? Uh, the the one with the beard. The tall one with the beard. Oh, this was back. Got you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess uh, I could try again. You're gonna come with us, but try to stay out of trouble. Let's go. Or I could not and not die. You're not going to die. He'll be fine. I'm very good at protecting people. All right. I guess. Can I say control room and we'll go there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I did it earlier. But Are you two stepping through first? first? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. He, he, doesn't, uh, he doesn't follow you. Okay. <laughs> gonna say, uh, you can step through and he goes... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, we know where to find him at the bakery later. You two step through, uh, and almost instantly, uh, you are being accosted uh, by these warriors. Roll initiative. Yay! Let's kill some stuff. Mm -mm. Oh, could I have cast something before we went out and then I didn't say it. Uh, as long as it's quick, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, I was going to go ahead and cast uh, Staggering Smite before we went in. Cool. Nice. That looks oh, wait, it's a bonus action. I didn't need to do that. Oh, yeah, so you can do that on one of your <laughs> turns. Cool. Do, 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 do. Pulling up some stat blocks. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Cool. Uh, I need to roll for them. Eighteen. Cool. So, you guys are sort of standing... Um, at the entrance to this this room, it sort of lowers down in, and there's all sorts of um, uh, uh, think of it like a, like you know like the bridge in a Star Trek or a Star Wars thing, except that instead of like computers, it's all these like like just rising stones with these pools of water or these images, magical images floating over them, um, where you can see there's like like all the shape of the whole city in the center and all sorts of things displayed around it, like the the temperature in various places of the city and things like that. Um, and you see that floating above the city is, uh, you, you recognize it as the, you've seen drawings before of like what the cosmos is like, like where the different planes are and where hell is and all these things. Um, and you see that it's, it's like focused on a particular point in the shadow fell, a particular demi plane within the shadow fell. Okay. Um, it's unmarked. It doesn't have a name. Spooky. Um, all it has on it is a symbol of a snake. Spooky! There was a snake earlier. Oh my god! Oh my god! <clears throat> We're going to snack his planet. Snack his planet. <laughs> cool. So, do we see the captain dude? Yeah, you see the the captain dude. He's standing on the far side of this this sort of like circular um, stone terminal with these these images in it, uh, with the city there and the image above. He's on the far side of that, you know, moving stones around. Uh, okay. you know, steering the city. Um, between you and him, uh, half a dozen uh, of these tabaxi warriors um, decked out with, with uh, what if they got? They've got spear shields and spears, um, and they seem already ready for you and are all ready to descend upon you. Irina, you've got the first action. Um, I'm going straight for a big dude. Um, you'd have to pass by all six of these dudes to get to the big dude. Which would mean okay. six opportunity attacks. That's stupid, but I really want to do it. 
<laughs> you can. Um, or you can wait, and I can help no. you. Okay, okay. I will go ahead and um, uh, cast um, haste on. Um, wait, that gives you an extra action, I think, right? Double. Yeah, I'll cast haste on Aridon. Hey, thanks. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. And I will do that. Yeah, that's fine. Awesome. Their turn. Uh, three warriors each are going to come on you and make a series of attacks. Um, do, 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 do. So they are that. So your AC is... You've got your shield now? I do. So it's 19 now. Right. Because you don't have your magic shield. So it's 19. Great. Uh, so I'm looking for... Uh, nineteen twenty twenty. Oh wait, D that was that including that was including the plus two to AC for Aridon. Oh the, no! From haste. Oh yeah, you get a yeah. Plus so two then it haste. would be twenty one. Yeah. All right. So I need to do, do, do. So that is two hits, one of which is a crit. Thanks. Uh. So. Do 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 do. Uh, that is 44 damage, Aridin, huh! from spears. As three of these guys come in, they each make three quick spear attacks at you. You, you know, block some with your shield, dodge out of the way of others. Um, I was expecting this to but, be a breeze. Um, two of them, like, slash you for 11 points each, and then one, ooh, hits you really hard uh, in a, in a cra you know, like a, a gap in your armor. This is not your normal armor. You're not used to wear the different... Uh, weak points are, and they get you right in the in the joist of one, uh, and that's the that one does twenty two points. Ouch. Um, uh, then... I think I want to repost. Cool. So. Do do do. Is it sixteen hit? Uh, sixteen just yes. hits. Seventeen damage. Nice. Even with my low d ten roll. I have to sneeze. Hold on. All right. Uh, so you do 17 damage to one of them. All right. Um, do, do, do. Then the other three each make three quick stabbing attacks at Irina. Okay. Do, 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 do. So you've got uh, 17 AC. So that is one, two, three, four, five regular hits and two crits. Wait, I thought only three of them were attacking each of us. Yep, three times three attacks. Oh, gotcha. So nine attacks coming your way. There's th these quick jabbing spear attacks. They just they go just run to the big dude. Like they try and hit you in three different points really quickly so that it's hard to dodge. And there's three of them and it's all happening simultaneously. I should have just run to the big dude. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think they would hit us so hard. I didn't think either. Uh, so that is uh, 99 points of damage. Ha! Huh. Huh. Ha! Because that's five regular hits of 11 each and then two hits of 22 each. It's five, six, seven, eight, nine times eleven. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's. You know, in a video game, when you walk into a room and you go, "Oh God, I'm not high enough level." Uh huh. Mm hmm. Jesus. Uh, Aaron. Oh, I dumb. I could have. Um. Okay. Well, I guess first I'm gonna use my bonus action, and. Shield of Faith Arena. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> AC for everybody. Uh, and then I'm going to... Uh, you have extra move. Right? I do have extra movement. Um, so I'm going to evasive footwork. Because <laughs> I do not want to... No! Is evasive footwork a bonus action? Uh, it's a maneuver. Okay, um, what kind of action? 
I don't know, but like maneuver say when you move. It says when you gotcha. move, you okay, can so it's just yeah. Great. <sighs> Doesn't matter. I only got a freaking one. Don't and forget a one and a two off my maneuver shit. An extra action from haste. Cool. Okay. Um. So then I'm going to run over to the guy, the captain, the dude steering. Mm -hmm. uh, do I make it there, Jake? Are you going to opportunity attack me? Sorry. Uh, yes. yes there, you're, 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 gonna, you're, you're running up to the captain? Okay. Yeah, I was hoping my you're AC would be a lot better. You're going to three attacks. So what's your AC right now? Uh, 19 plus 3. So 21. 22. Yes. Yes. Um, I can't believe I got a one. Shit. Uh, one hit for 11 damage. So they all okay. And you jump over one, duck under the other. Ooh, take the last one in the in the in the arm or the side as you're you're passing them. Um, but you make it over um, to the captain, and he's just moved the stones in place. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm going to attack him, and I'm going to use pushing attack, I think. What, what is, sorry, what is the situation with the thing? Does it look like he's done doing what he was doing, or is he actively doing it still? He's actively monitoring and, like, adjusting, but it, he, he doesn't seem like he's doing a lot of active work. Okay. So then I'm just going to attack him first. Cool. Does that hit? Uh, 19. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Nice. And 12 probably doesn't. Uh, 12 does not. Uh, and then I have my extra action you said, Arena? Yeah, you have one more action. Which you can use to do a single, single attack, attack, not multiple Correct. attacks. Correct. Or a bunch of other stuff. I can do a spell. <laughs> um... Can you do a spell? Could I not? To attack, dash, disengage, hide, or use no, an object. No, you can't. Oh, okay. It'd be really OP if you could cast another spell with it. Spells are super powerful. Got it. Um. Then I will just attack again. Yeah. So you just and I will attack. use a uh, pushing attack on this one. Okay, so you're trying to push him away from the. Thing that hits. Yes, so... Then also that much damage. And then he takes a strength saving throw. Strength saving DC throw. DC 18. Uh, he fails. He is pushed 15 feet back. No, sorry. No, sorry. Uh, he passes. He I is not pushed 15 feet back. <laughs> All right, well, I still did a crap ton of damage, so that's cool. Yeah, you did 41 damage to him. Damn. And I gave Arena AC. Aww. Um, in that next moment, Pharaoh appears through the portal. <laughs> and he goes, I'm brave, I'll do it. Oh, shit, oh, shit. And then uh, you hear uh, the captain say, we have arrived. <sighs> and the whole city lurches for a moment. Um. And then Pharaoh's entire demeanor changes. Crap. Uh, uh oh. Uh, and he. It's Strahd! <laughs> <laughs> and he says, I see. Yes, this is how we will escape. Uh, and he's, he, he turns to all of them and he says, uh, finish them off to Aridin and Arena. And they, uh, they keep doing the fighting against you. Um, Kicking our and asses. And he, he like, like turns his head down, puts his hands out and starts chanting and making really creepy noises. Awesome. Okay, cool. Arena. Okay, cool. Um, that's good. I will I, I mean, just keep going for this captain, I guess. Uh, 
Yeah, I will go ahead and um, run over to this captain. How many attacks of opportunity am I going to take? You will take three. Okay, go uh, for it. Here they come. So your AC now is 21. 19? It's 19. She only has haste pick. on me. Shield. Yeah. 17. I thought you had a some other plus two going on. No, haste is on me. Haste okay. is on me. Right, so it's 19. Okay. 19. Uh, cool. So I'm looking for... Please don't die, Arena. Yeah. Oh. We just that got massages. One, one hit for 11 damage. Okay, cool. I'll take that. Um, and you can make it over to the boss, dude. Okay. Sounds good. Over to boss, dude. I will go ahead and um, bonus action. Oh, which one? Yeah, I'm going to go bonus action, staggering smite, um, and non lethal. Just saying it's non lethal. And um, I will hit him a few times. Cool. So I don't have. You don't have I only magic have, sword. So yeah, yeah, I don't know. Don't, I'm just gonna use that, and then we so can. It's a D20 plus your strength modifier Thank plus your proficiency you. bonus. I'm just gonna pull a D20 then. Plus four plus five. That's yeah. right. So plus nine. Cool. Yeah, that doesn't hit. That's okay. I get to do it again. That's good. I'm just rolling that once all over the place. That will hit, though. Go ahead and give me some okay, damage. Okay, fantastic. So that's going to do... What's a base longsword? Uh, D8. Slash. <coughs> Excuse D8. me. Eight, and then from the staggering smite... Oh, plus strength. Yep. Okay, so that's going to be a plus... Whatever my strength is. And then 46. Yep. Yeah. Six. Nice. And then I'm going to go ahead and expend. He's still not down, I assume, right? No, he's not. I'm going to expend a third level spell slot to do some smite. So that's uh, 2d6. So f another 4d6, right? All right, cool. Roll it. Did you include the four from her strength? Uh, I did. Hey, 18 more damage. Nice. I think that's all I can do. Who was that against? That was all against the boss. Okay. Uh, right then, uh, the rest of the dudes swarm in around y'all again. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, so, here's where we're going to do this. The boss, because he's got one of you on each side, is going to do one spear to each of you. He's going to like spear one side, spear the other side. Well, though he's probably using the pointy end and the blunt end. Um, and then the other guys are each going to make their three attacks against you, so there are ten attacks coming each of your way. Ooh. Oh my god, this is where we die. <laughs> this is where we die. We're dying! It should be D8. I don't think it's related to you not being here. Jake, I messed up my smite. Uh, we oh, can well. recalc. You want to reroll it? Kind of. You rolled pretty yeah. well, but... I did. It's okay. That's fine. You could roll better. You could also roll worse. If you want to redo it, I'll, I'll redo the math. It's fine. I'll, I'll do it. I kind of want to. All right. <laughs> Four, two, eight. Hey, you did do better. Two more damage. Nice. We're dead. Yeah, y'all are probably dead. Um, do, 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 do. Maybe we can, yeah. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> Uh, Aridin, I think that's two attacks that hit you. So cool. 11 damage, so 22 damage to you. You get some okay. spears. I am at 20... No, I am... What am I at right now? I'm in... Yeah, okay. How much was it? 22? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, Irina, I think that's three that hit you. Okay. I'm doing math. So that's 33 damage to you. Okay. I would like to Sentinel with the one that went after Arena. Okay. She used my reaction, but... Uh, yeah. Against the boss. Uh, cool. 
so 13 more damage to the boss guy. Um, the boss guy uh, says to you, you are already too late. He's here. No. Uh, they uh, They've come. Narsko! Uh, Aridin, it is now your turn. So Pharaoh's just like creepy humming in the corner. Yeah, you can also see. I'll describe to you um, on the like the display, the floating like image of the city. You see that this like sphere of this demiplane. The city is like half in it and half out of it at an angle. So like a, like a third of the city, but then like half of the tower. Because the, there's the city and then like the, the tower sticking up out of the center of the city, Ooh. and it's at an angle and in. So and the the edge of the sphere is there. So like a third of the city and like the top half of the tower um, are sticking into this this demi plane. Cool. Arena, do you want to bounce? Um. I mean, we can't leave. Well, we're not going to stop them anymore, so... Okay. I guess I guess so. I can keep trying to kill him. No, no, you got a point. Let's try to yell at Pharaoh, though. <laughs> How far away is Pharaoh? He's up by the portal, so the same distance that you came down into the room to get to the boss. Yeah, you'd have to go out. Okay. <sighs> this is not going to be good. Here's the footwork. What? Oh, okay. You I can... didn't hit the one. <laughs> you can use your green. um your haste. One of them is disengage. Uh oh shit, you're right. Mm. Okay. But I already did it. Do you want me to no, just stick good. with it? Okay, alright, I'll disengage. Uh doesn't that only protect me from the guy I'm disengaged from? You're disengaging from all of them. I'm disengaging from all okay. you, so. Great. Uh, so then I'll just run straight for Pharaoh and I'll try and grab him and run into the portal and say throne room. <laughs> Make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Can I just tackle him in? Do I have to touch him, like, by the skin? It doesn't seem like the skin mattered. The other guy touched, put his hand on his shoulder where the robe was. Uh, so I need a wisdom saving throw from you. Alright, well I want to make sure I have enough momentum going in so that even if it does get me... I'll still have him in the place. I will. You could make a strength athletics roll with advantage because he's his eyes are closed and he's. Okay, we'll do that first. Boom! He's, Boom. he's you're definitely going to the ball. Throne room. <laughs> he like. Whoa. And, huh? Uh, I don't think you have plus four. Uh, you're not within ten feet of me. Check. Huh? Seventeen. Pharaohs. DC is. Ooh, Probably you just made it. His DC is 16. Oh my god. You feel that, ooh, that cold tingle in the back of your neck again. I see the Eye of Sauron flash in front of me. Um, when you arrive in the throne room, you tackle, you skid onto the ground. Um, you, you hear an eerie silence, and it is dark in here, very dark and shadowy. You look up and you see that all of the people here are sort of frozen in place. That black and whiteness, uh, someone cranked down the, the brightness. Everyone is dark and black and has these, it looks almost like flames, but it's black shadow just sort of rising and crackling from them as they're frozen in place. Um, in this whole room is frozen um, and uh, as you have Pharaoh sort of on the ground there, he opens his eyes and he says, Yes, this is where he is. Um, and you, there's suddenly this, this lurch as something uh, from the outside uh, shakes or collides with the tower that you're in, this temple. Um, and, and you see in the window behind the throne scales sliding past oh, the window. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nah, I was oh, for that. fuck. How did I forget about Dendar? <laughs> yeah, you forgot about the How giant snake. How did I forget snake. about Dendar? I'm at least a fucking devil and Dendar. Yeah. <laughs> this is, I'm a worse paladin ever. Don't forget I'm about the Dendar. i a super paladin. Never forget about the Dendar. Cool. 
Cool. Crap. Yeah. I'm also, still other I realized now. afterwards there was something I probably could have done to help you, Arena, but I didn't, and I'm very it's sorry, okay. and I hope you don't die. I messed up with you. I won't die. You forgot die. about Dr. Denda. No, I could have attacked once to Commander Strike and get her out of there without provoking opportunity attacks, and I really I hope you don't die. die. I have spells. I'll be fine. Mm. Irina! Cool. Well, I'm hitting this guy before I leave, because he's annoying me. Sure. And I hit him a few more times. <laughs> you you know that if you do that, you can't use your action to disengage. Yes, I know. Okay. How far is the door? The uh, teleport. You, you might get to the door in 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 with your movement, but it's uh, less than thirty feet away, right? Uh, yeah, it's like thirty feet away. Right, right. You're gonna uh, get attacked by a billion but things. You're gonna get attacked no, by I I'm gonna misty step. It's fine. Misty step is bonus action. Oh yeah, all right. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna feel real guilty. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Let me double Actually, check. None of them but... took opportunity attacks against Aridin. You could take seven opportunity attacks. Yeah, it's a bonus action. It's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, 20. Okay. I'm gonna uh, plus a bunch. Yeah, that hits. Twenty, and these are all non-lethal. D8 plus four, so it's twelve. Oh. Cool. Uh, so how? One of those hits or both? Uh, yeah. That, uh, oh, sorry. Those were those were D twenty roll. I thought that was your damage roll. No. Um. Yeah. Those. Let's see. Plus nine. Yeah. Those both hit. Okay. Cool. Um. So. That's a D D. D eight plus five. Yeah. So no four. Two D eight plus eight. Because you got both of them. Eight. Uh, two D eight. So just roll another D eight. Oh my bad. Eight D eight. <laughs> there you go. So fifteen five. Cool. So twenty damage. I do eighty eight damage. He still looks fine. Uh, nope. That <laughs> you n you knock him to the ground, unconscious. Great, Woo! fantastic. That makes me happy. I will misty step to the door and <laughs> yell throne room and walk out. <laughs> Boom! As you step into the throne room, you feel this overwhelming presence uh, this presence of darkness uh, this presence of evil um, as you are standing we'll, we'll come out of initiative order uh, it's fair the fucking vessel <laughs> <laughs> and you see just like Aridin did the scales going across the window okay Um, and I Irina, got a bad feeling about you know this. Exactly what this is. Yeah. Pharaoh um, is on the ground laughing maniacally. What did you do? <laughs> this, this city is how Dendar will see the world once more. We have freed her and me. <laughs> I will see my fang bearers once again. Um, and he turns and he looks at you, Arena, and he says, "And the and your better half will join me, and we will rule over the world." I want to backhand him with my shield. Do it. Uh, you can. What did you do to Pharaoh? Bloody mouth. Bloody mouth. Bloody mouth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and he says, "I am Pharaoh." Or rather, Pharaoh as he should be. <laughs> <laughs> and he says. And he says, uh, this is who I always was. And as you look down, you see that the bottom half of him is a snake once more. Uh, uh. All snaky-legged. And he says, I gave up that useless, the useless emotions that you humans thrive on so that I could seize power. And now here I am, returning Dendar from his... His, where he, from the demiplane where he has been trapped for so long. Pharaoh, this isn't you. Look inside your heart. You have love. You have emotion. Think of your mother. Think of bread. For God's sake, man, snap out of it. I hit him again with my shield. <laughs> think right. of bread. Did you give me just a second? The power of yeast compels you. 
do. Remember the sourdough. Give it just a second. We can't fight a god. Getting real sick of killing evil Pharaoh. <laughs> it's not going. Is there another prompt? Come on, stupid thing, go. Submit. Oh, roll 20. All right. Pharaoh casts Flame Strike on you. Ow. I need a dexterity saving throw. Do I still have haste on me? This is how you're going to die, isn't it? You do. Uh, you still have haste that on you. Cool. So that's... It only oh. lasts a minute. Has it been a minute, Jake? It hasn't been a minute. Yeah. You know, the tail Advantage the on minute. dex saving throws. Cool. Thank God. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, his Ten DC is... Away. You're right, his DC is 16. We I remember. <laughs> um, uh, so you still take half. So you take half Ow! of 31, which would be 15, uh, a mix of fire and radiant damage. You're still up? As this giant <laughs> flame strikes on you, um, and as you jump out of the way, you are yeah, no I... longer on top of him. Uh, the flame hits him as well, but he seems to ignore it. He may have taken the damage, but he's just, he's, he's getting up and crawling away and slithering over towards that throne. Away from uh... you. Are you still is, he, is that an opportunity attack? Um, he's using this spell and you jumping out of the way to not get hit as his opportunity to get away. Is that an actual mechanic? <laughs> that is what he's doing. He's disengaging. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lame! <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, creature, creatures within five feet of me provoke opportunity attacks even if they disengaged. Seriously? Sentinel. <laughs> Do it! Yeah. This is exactly the discussion we had with Strahd. This is the exact discussion. Oh, it happened. is. <laughs> it is. And then we were like, can we hit Misty things? <laughs> um, yeah, you hit him. You do some damage to him. Let me, uh, I can write that down. You seem unconcerned about the damage. Do, do, do. I do. Um, that would be, um, <clears throat> and he says, as he slithers over, he's slithering away still, and he slithers over the throne, he says, it doesn't matter now if you strike me down, down, Dendar will be released. Um, and he, he gets up to the throne, um, well, I guess we'll do that on his next turn. Uh, Irina, what are you doing? I'm gonna run up to him and say, uh, Pharaoh. You, you must see reason. Releasing Dendar is no use to any of us. Just try to persuade try him. To... You could make a persuasion check with disadvantage. Okay. Oh. He's pretty driven right now. <laughs> yeah, you know. He's pretty slithering. <laughs> persuasion. Oh, well. There you go. Can't roll any lower than that. <laughs> uh, I cannot. <laughs> he is unpersuaded. Yep, okay. Okay. I'm assuming that was my whole turn, so. <laughs> cool. Aridin, what would you like to do? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is he a celestial fiend or undead? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, shit. Good. I get... Alright, I'm gonna start trying to kill him but not kill him. This is all gonna be non-kill. Kill. So you're I declare that. Him and attack him? Yeah. Alright. Sixteen hit. With the yeah. thing of spells to be there. He's got like no AC. Right now. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. You do thirty-five, thirty-seven damage to him. Yes, I do. Cool. Um, and I'm also going to second wind. Get a D10 plus my fighter level back. Hmm. 
So you're doing additional 7 damage? It's 18 health. No, that's my... I'm restoring health. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, on his turn, he's going to do two things. No oh, good. Uh, oh, hmm. He's got one of those. All right, none of the spell buttons are working on his sheet right now, unfortunately. But uh, he's going to cast Spirit Guardians. Hmm. Oh, now he knows his spells. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Can dancing lights right about now, huh? Dee, 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 dee. Uh, these fiendish snake-like figures start swirling around him in a 15-foot radius. Um, you all, if you, because since you're near him, um, your speed is halved in this area. Um, when you enter or start your turn there, you must make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, you take 3d8 necrotic damage. Okay. Um, sorry, not 3d8. Uh, he's casting it at a higher level. It's 68 necrotic damage. Are these... What, so what are the things actually hitting us? Uh, these, uh, these images, spectral images of snakes. Was that at the start of our turn, did you say? Yes, at the start of your turn. Damn so it. <laughs> are these things aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, or undead? <laughs> no, no, but they are, uh, they are spectral forms that appear that way. Okay. They appear fiendish, but they are not fiends. Um, and he's going to grab you want to be my friend? from one of the, f the frozen warriors one of their like spears and pick it up and smash it forward, crashing open the window behind the throne. Um, and, and as those scales come across it, they, they disappear for a second, and then a giant snake eye appears in the window backs up, and a giant mouth opens by the window. Uh... So I'm not dead yet, because I'm about to take 3d8 damage. Uh, it is now uh, Irina's turn. Mm -hmm. She takes, not 3d8, 68 damage, but she, she can take a wisdom saving throw to half it. Oh, good. Okay. That's something. Wisdom save? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a failure. You take 29... Ooh. No I literally, damage. I'm at 28 hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, dude, 28. we're getting our ass kicked. <laughs> I'm at 28, <laughs> and unfortunately, okay, I'm I'm down. Aridin. I'm down, yeah. You're down? I'm down. And these things are going to keep hitting you, right? Yeah. Is she going to keep making wisdom saving throws while she's down? It's the start it's of your turn. turn. Uh, you uh, can't make a wisdom saving throw while you're unconscious. Um... Uh, Aridin, you need to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. All right. You take 30 necrotic damage. You still alive? Yep, I'm I'm here. Okay. I'm here. Okay. Like barely? Yeah, I was going to yeah. bless us, but it's not working. <laughs> Can you wake me up? <laughs> Uh, well, maybe it's not even worth it, actually. At the start of my turn, I'm gonna just die again. <laughs> it's only when you're within 15 feet of him. So, mm -hmm. Aridin could yeah. drag you out of that radius. Except his movement's halved, and then his movement would be halved again, because he's dragging. Is my haste still on? He's hasted. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's concentration. It's down. Just Fuck. kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hate to... You know, ruin my chances of survival. <laughs> uh, you could still dash. Okay, this is fine. This is yeah. fine. You could dash and still do it. Okay. All right. I'll, okay. Yeah, I'll do that then. Cool. You can get over to Arena and drag around these snake images that are pestering you. You drag away um, from Pharaoh. You guys are now at the edge of this spectral images of snakes. <laughs> They're like biting at you. Um, um, and then. I want a remix of Don't Forget About Dre that's Don't Forget About Dendar. Or they forgot about Dre. They forgot about Dendar. I'm going to action surge and max lay on hands. Thanks. Cool. What's that like? Ten. No, I'm I'm a level four paladin, so four twenty. Nope. <laughs> twenty hit points, Arena. Thank you. You're up and at twenty. You snap up. 
Uh, you're oh, disoriented sorry. for a moment, but you see the giant snake mouth right at the window. You see Pharaoh at the like top of the throne there, holding the spear where he just broke it open. These snake images around him, and Aridin, uh right, and he sort of crouched down right next to you because he dragged you there. Okay. Uh, is it my turn? Uh, no, it's still Aridin's action surge, I think. Or is no? Is that was my action, action surge. I was okay. using lay on hands as my action. Gotcha. Cool. Uh, it's Pharaoh's turn. Um, he leaps off of the throne and into the snake's mouth. Yep, saw that coming. The snake Monch. snaps shut, and you just see scales on the window again as it heads uh, off in a direction that you cannot see. Um, we're out of initiative now for the moment. Cool, I'm gonna real quick just heal myself up like. Mm. Yep. Um, 50 feel free points. To give some healing. Um, <laughs> Give me also some perception checks. To see how boned we are? Uh, perception? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the closest up that you guys have been to the king before. He's, he's sort of frozen in the throne right now. Um, but you do notice that he is wearing... Um, it, it was under his cloak, but you can only just see it now. Um, an amulet very similar to the one that brought you here. We'll grab it. Maybe we go back. Yep, let's go. I, I I hate to say it, I don't think we can do anything else for these people. Should we try to plead with Dendar? What were you going to say, Jake? You don't have your stuff, by the way. Crap. We need our Why shit. Why did they take our stuff? Is it our your apartment? Your stuff is in your apartment. We can take the amulet with us. How far away? It. Yeah. How far away is our apartment? Uh, pretty far. It's uh, across the city, but okay. you know exactly how to get there. You would go through the bathhouse, down the stairs, out past the market, like... Yeah. Let's grab this amulet without touching it to start okay. with. Is it, like, frozen under the ice? or? It, it, it's it in the shadow, shadow? but if, if you see, like, like the their clothes and stuff are, like, rippling and moving. They're not, like, frozen. Oh, okay. They're frozen, not frozen. Yeah. Okay. Time frozen, not... Ice frozen. Petrified. Yeah. Should we? You can attempt? you can carefully grab the chain and lift it up over his head. You see his oh, hair tussles and his 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 clothes move. Um, and as you pull it off of him, the the shadow sort of fades from it and it just becomes a regular sort of still black and white because you're in the shadow fell, but not this dark black uh, burning shadow. Um, as you you sort of take it. Um, cool. I'll um wrap it in something and shove it in my pocket. Cool. Should we, I mean, we'll go back to the apartment, but should should we, if we see him, Dendar, I mean, try to, I don't Speak know. with the giant snake god that just ate Pharaoh alive? Well, yes. We're not going to survive otherwise. <laughs> if it comes to it, we can definitely try that before just surrendering and dying. Okay. For now, I suggest we run. Run! Let's run. As you all- Oh, am I gonna sneeze again? No, I don't. It's been doing this all day where I almost have to sneeze. Alright. You guys start running through the bathhouse, um, and then out the way you came when you got dressed, um, and out onto the stairs, and as you come out onto the stairs, you see that you are in the dark half of this, this veil of Shadowfell. Um, and on your way out of here, you're basically gonna run out of the shadow, because uh, it's it's tilted. The city's tilted away, and your apartments are sort of up high. Um, everything's at an angle. Uh, gravity's all topsy turvy. Um, you see that everywhere where the shadow is, where you are, you see these same sort of images that you've seen saw in the throne room. These frozen shapes in the shadow fell. This burning shadow. Um, and as you look th through the edge of the shadow here, I'm um, still in the shadow fell, but not in this demi plane. Um, at the edge of this demiplane, you see chaos. Uh, uh, you know, buildings burning, people running left and right, trying to find a way out. Um, total utter chaos at the edge, as the city is sort of, you can see very, ever so slowly, sinking deeper into this demiplane. Horrifying. Um, you all run down the stairs. Um, oh, the other really big thing that you see um, is Dendar, the Night Serpent. This massive, unimaginably massive snake uh, uh, sort of floating in the ether above the city. It's, it's partially wrapped around the tower here, um, and you see that its, its head is trying to snake its way out 
uh, across this boundary, you see that where the tower is crossing the boundary between the demiplane and the rest of the Shadowfell, um, that it, it's starting to grow fuzzy and crack, that the, the, the division is not so solid, it's more of a gradient there, and the snake is pushing his way out through where this tower has punctured a hole in this demiplane. That is so scary. Hey, Rena. Yep. Do you think we should try to save people with the amulet? Um, to be honest, I think at this point we need to just get out. Okay. Uh, a few more things that you see. Uh, the city rumbles a little. And as you're running through the Shadowfell part of the city with all these frozen statues around you, running over towards getting closer and closer to this edge boundary, you see that, that beam of light, that familiar beam of light come across to the top of the tower again. Um, and you see a crow suspended and coming into the tower. Um, and it's sort of flapping it's Theo's finger. and floating. Um, and then as it hits the edge of the Shadowfell, because it's coming into the throne room, of, or sorry, of the demiplane, frozen solid, uh, with that black shadow burning off of it again. Um, as you all continue running. Uh, then, uh, a few moments later, you're almost at the edge of of the, the boundary. You're about to cross it when the city rumbles again, and across that beam, you see... You almost can't believe your eyes at first. One of those giant sandworms. Oh, no. <laughs> that you fought before. Oh, my God. Uh, Why did it? How did, did that's not good. No, uh, what, like what happened to this damn amulet? <laughs> Where are we gonna pop out? Are we gonna be inside a sandworm our... again? Because I'm like, following you. Uh, you cross the boundary of the of the hard plane of Shadowfell, and there's nothing blocking you two from exiting. Um, uh, you, you cross, and you're now sort of running uphill. Um, before in the Shadowfell, it was not clear which gravity was, but now it's very clear that the, the city is going in at an angle. So you're running uphill away from the tower as that shadow is coming in behind you. Um, you guys are scrambling as much as you can. You see there's people who have climbed onto the tops and the sides of buildings and aren't sure where to go. Um, they're screaming in chaos. Um, as you continue running, um, eventually you make it up to where your apartments are. Um, and you can throw the doors open, and everything is gone chaos. It's, everything's tipped, the furniture's all which way. Um, but you can find the chest with your stuff in it, and you can open it up and, and just sort of grab it. Um, you don't really have time to put anything on. Um, you, before you, just before you're ready to leave, you feel the, the city rumble one last time. Um, and you see a, uh, what looks like a, a seafaring captain floating in the beam up and he's you can see even at this distance that he's aghast at the image that he's seeing of this terrible city half sunken in darkness burning in this massive snake that he's floating towards i can't believe both of my field trips ended up being to hell i know <laughs> you must be cursed all right we've got our stuff let's let's do it i, mean, I don't yeah I don't think we're going to be able to help anyone. Right. Let's just... I'll hold it out. Arena, you can touch it. Yeah. You you can both grab it at the same time. Yeah. A familiar sensation as you are sort of whisked up and away. You feel yourselves floating for a moment into Astronox. And then you land. The ground below you uh, is, is wood. Um, and you're in... A room, a, a well-appointed, uh, it looks like a, a captain's quarters. And you realize, from the gentle rocking, that you're on a boat. And this room is empty. You see the, the, the captain's quarters are nice. There's some little bits of, of treasure and, and maps and things around. Um, uh, this seems like a, a captain who has done well for himself. Um, and lying on the desk, right in front of you, you see the lost talisman of Achman Ra. Wrap it up. Put it in my yeah. pocket. I think, I think, I think so. Uh, and that's about what I've got for y'all tonight. So, uh, that's where we'll leave you. Uh, thanks for playing. Um, 
please do send me uh, your rose thorn bud tonight. That is the thing you liked, the thing you didn't like, and the thing you're looking forward to. Uh, viewers, thank you for tuning in. Um, I hope uh, that you had a blast. Please do uh, give us your feedback. You can message the Jetsam Academy page, or you can comment on the video to let us know what you think or what you thought. Um, Please do tune in the rest of this week. We will be streaming again tomorrow at 7.15 p.m. Pacific. Uh, tomorrow night will be uh, Koros and Nadam uh, and what they're up to, wherever they're at. Um, and then Friday night will be Theo and Burnham, 7.15 p.m. Pacific, here on Facebook.com slash Jetsam Academy. Uh, so with that, we'll see you all tomorrow night. Bye-bye now. We didn't die. It was very close.